guys, Sakura Hunley here. I am back with another video for you guys. This is gonna be a Willow vlog. Um, I also kind of wanted to do an announcement first, but it's probably gonna be a couple announcements considering how long I do talk. <laughs> but okay, yeah, anyway, um, I just wanted to say things have just been really hard lately, especially recently. I've been stressed out to the nine. Um, that's a reason why I haven't been um, recording videos for you guys. It's also, it's also, <laughs> it's because I'm highly stressed. I mean, I probably don't look like I'm that um, upset right now, but I'm actually am. Um, I'm stressed out to the point where I'm having trouble sleeping. Like I have straight out insomnia most of the time. And um, I waited until um, two or after three because I wanted to wait until my dad left before I recorded. <laughs> A lot of reasons why. Um, yeah. And um, I just feel like no matter how upset I get, um, just I feel like I have like injustice in the house technically because no matter how much he puts um, crap on me for no reason, I feel like I, I have to stand up for myself no matter how he is or anything. I mean, yeah, it is kind of dangerous considering how he has acted even if I do fight for my rights, but you know, I'm I'm literally the person who the type of person who will literally risk their right, uh, life just so people do not put me down and treat me like crap. Um, like I really just don't care at this point. Like I just want to move out of this house because today was horrible. It was one of the worst days. Um, actually, that's actually kind of untrue. This was actually kind of mellow versus other days, but no, I, I really got to get out of this house. Um, we have plan. me and my mom have plans to move into my mom, my grandmother's home. I almost called her my mother. Um, so I want to do that now because how I'm feeling is affecting me to the point where I'm highly depressed and I do not want to do schoolwork and it really sucks because um, school is important and if it's affecting me that much then it is really time to leave because I do not want to attend Zoom calls or do schoolwork or a lot of schoolwork when he's home. I do not want to feel like I'm forced to do that because I don't like working when he's home. I don't. I don't even like recording videos when he's home. Like, you know how much I like to create um, exploring videos? Yeah. One reason is because I'm out doing something fun, I'm doing something that I love, and also because he's not there constantly and I don't have to hear his crap. Um, and it just really sucks. And I also wanted to say, I wanted to apologize for me not uploading much to YouTube and I wanna get back into that, but I've been getting a lot of homework lately so it's been hard. Um, I mean, I have been focusing on Instagram but I also don't think it's because of my schoolwork I just think it's just because I'm just depressed and I just feel like that there's not much to do when I'm at home because I don't really like sitting at home doing videos at home unless when I'm outside but um I don't know it's just I, I don't know it's just me I mean like I love doing Willow content and stuff for you guys Willow has her own account by the way um she has her blog and I've been highly slacking on her work because I, again, I want to focus on my stuff too. And that's also been stressing me out. But the thing that's been bothering me the most is just my father. And I just want him to just either be quiet or just leave at this point. Because he's not only hurting me, he's hurting my mother as well. And that's another factor why it's stressing me out that bad. <sighs> Then plus we got unwanted visitor earlier this week, so that's another reason. And I keep getting slammed because I'm not attending Zoom classes. Like I do my homework and I'll work on my stuff. But again, I also feel like um, I shouldn't really 
be forced to be put on Zoom call for support when I it, I know what I'm doing. And apparently no one else is literally getting put into Zoom calls for the support class. So I'm just like, it. Yeah, I just think it's stupid. Um, but it sucks. I have been missing a lot of classics, but it's not due to because I don't want to. It's either because I'm not feeling well due to stress or um, I'm just too depressed or I'm literally just legit sleeping because I haven't been getting sleep because of how much stress I've been undergoing. So like whenever, because we went yesterday to go visit my sister because my mom had the day off. So we went to go visit my sister and I was literally like falling asleep for most of it. Or when we were going there I was falling asleep and when we were leaving I was falling asleep. And I kind of felt bad because my grandmother was with us too and I wanted to spend time with literally just everyone but I was so stressed to the point that I just felt comfortable that my body was just forcing me to sleep. And I think that's kind of really sad and upsetting. But, and another factor is, Willow and all the other animals in the house have been um, sensing um, my tenseness and my negative energy lately. So every time I'm around them, they come up either because when willow's in her cage she just comes up to the cage the front of her cage and she just stares at me and she does some cute stuff to help me calm down to help me smile and stuff and um like my cat today i was in um i was in history and i had my audio on and she she just came up to me and just started meowing in my ear and um <laughs> my history teacher is just like, is there something wrong with her? And I'm just like, no, she just meows a lot. And I'm just, and she just started laughing because she thought it's cute because she has um cats as well. And I was just like, <laughs> everyone was just laughing at my cat. But I mean, it makes sense because she just meows a lot. Like, Licorice is cute. She's an, she's an amazing cat. Like, whenever I'm stressed out or if I'm having, like, a legit bad time, she'll just come up to me and just cuddle with me. Um, same thing with Jade and Pudge. Um, even though Pudge was blind, he, he still found me regardless, and he did pee on me a couple times, but that, that wasn't his fault. Um, and plus, I actually didn't get mad when he would pee on my feet, because first of all, I wasn't even wearing my own sneakers, it was just like, my sister's old sneakers. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, um, and again, I wasn't mad at him because... I know how he is, and plus he was just such a sweet dog, it was never um, hard not to like stay mad at that precious boy. And he was a pug too, he was an old chubby pug. Um, he was my sister's dog, but I treated him like he was like my nephew, like legit, which is really funny, but I love that boy. But he's no longer with us and neither is Jade, I only have... Um, licorice, willow, blue, and um, the guinea pig herd, I should say. Um, who am I forgetting? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's about it for the pets in the house right now. I mean, Willow is the only one that's actually my exact pet. Everyone else is literally just a family's pet. Um, so Willow is my pet. And I know a lot of people are probably wondering if they haven't seen my other videos. Um, I just want to say this. Um, the reason why Willow's by herself and she's not either with, like, one other guinea pig or she's not in the herd. She used to be in the herd, actually, before she was my guinea pig. But, um, she just became dominant out of nowhere. Um, I mean, she'll be nice to them and she'll play with them for, like, a little bit. And then she'll get kind of, um, mean towards them. And she's technically a bully to them. That's why she's separated. And, uh, she just likes it better that way. Which is kind of funny because she kind of resembles me in a way. <laughs> in 
in a way there. Um, but that's only people who know me really well um, know why or um, know why I said that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am a nice person, but like me and Willow just get irritated pretty fast. So I'm just saying, like, that's how um, me and Willow are similar. And she's so cute. Look at that girl. Huh? Look at that girl. <laughs> Baby. So cute. That little butt. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, and I also wanted to apologize that I haven't done exploring content like um, I was saying for Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Yeah, it didn't happen because things just changed. And um, I might, I do have plans for this weekend to do stuff, except for um, Saturday. Um, I mean, that's just going to be Instagram based content because I don't think my cousin will let me record that because. Um, it is um, my cousin, my baby cousin Ellie. She is um, getting baptized that weekend, so that's next weekend, not this weekend, because um, today is Friday. Um, <laughs> or at least when I'm recording this is Friday. I probably will forget when <laughs> um, I put this up. I'm just kidding. I'm going to put it up the same day. But anyway, I've also been getting really good feedback um, on my content recently because one um, person who recently subscribed to me actually reached out and DM'd me on Instagram and um, they're really nice and we've been um, talking for a short time um, and it was just nice to hear someone who actually enjoys the exploring videos and my vlogs in general, which you know I'm actually quite surprised. Hold on. Sorry, Ad. It was just, okay. It was just, like, I was kind of expecting for someone to come out and DM me and be like, I like your exploring videos, because I'm just like, yeah, I can see why you like those. <laughs> Except for some of my thumbnails, I was just like, oh god. I was like, oh god, you saw my, <laughs> you saw my YouTube and my thumbnails. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. Um, but it was nice to hear that someone actually enjoys my vlogging because I know that my vlogs are kind of more popular than my exploration videos, kind of. But I, in my opinion, just after me recording it, I just feel like my vlogs are just um, boring. Unless if it's me just walking around. Um, I would take my camera out and I would go walking like you guys saw during like the 4th of July and everything. <sighs> but yeah, um, I don't know. My opinion is just that I just feel like my vlogs are just boring. Unless if they're Willow Vlogs, or again, if I'm just um, walking around. Because, like, sometimes I do sit and talks and I call them vlogs instead. Because I don't want to keep saying sit and talks or um, let's talk videos. Like, I just don't like renaming videos the same name, which sucks. But except for um, Willow Vlogs, I have hers numbered, and then I believe I have mine numbered? Possibly, but I don't think that they're all numbered because there's some where I say explore slash vlog Because I just wanted to do something different. I just wanted to change up the um, The title for the video uh, But technically I was just like is that um Click baiting and then I'm just like no because technically that is what it is for most of them because I say explore slash vlog when I'm actually at like Forest Park and I'm doing a video there so that I'm just like oh, okay so this is what it is well I mean it is an explore video but it's also a vlog but um I wouldn't call the ones that I go to Hozak Tunnel vlogs I feel like those are just regular exploration videos or at least the first one I did there 
Um, yeah, that was back when I had long hair. I have my hair up right now because I kind of look like crap. So I feel bad for looking like crap for you guys. It, it's hot today, so I was like sweating so much, so I had to put my hair up. And that's also why we're sitting in the shade. So yeah. <sighs> but again, I just love this little nugget. No matter how hard my life gets, and no matter how much crap I have to go through, I always have this little nugget to cheer me up. Or other people to cheer me up. It depends on who gets to me first. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And, okay. Um, and I am so excited because there's gonna be another cruise night soon. Um, that's gonna be on October 6th. So get ready for that, guys. Um, and no, I didn't want to create a separate video talking about the cruise night. Actually, I might well um, make another video of the cruise night be like a review. And I'll give you guys more information about the cruise night. Um, I just wanted to bring it up in this video. Just because. Because I want to keep the conversation going. So yeah. It, it just sucks. Life just sucks. Um, yeah, it just sucks. But again, for my PayPal, I won't be able to set that up for a while, so we're gonna have to wait a bit before um, you guys can buy my photography photos of nature and everything else. And I've actually been getting really better at photography ever since I started digital art. Excuse me. So... I'm actually pretty happy. That's actually one of the things that's helping me distress. But the only thing that sucks is that my brain isn't really working well right now because the lack of sleep. You have no idea how many hours I lose of sleep due to stress. Like, I even have a hard time falling asleep, but maybe if I drink the drink that I got yesterday that has a lot of magnesium in it, that might help me sleep because magnesium actually helps you sleep. So um, I learned that because my my sister told me that. And um, so we were okay, okay. Story time. We were at Whole Foods, right? And this was yesterday. <laughs> this was yesterday. So this was pretty recent. Um, I was looking at the water, like you know, they have like coconut water and they have all this like healthy water besides like regular water <laughs> to drink. And guess what I found? I legit found maple maple water. And I actually tasted it one I, once I got home. It it tasted like sugar water. Like like sugar water like um from like Family Trap. I believe the movie cuz I rem I don't know. I don't I don't know how I would know how that tastes because I, I'm not the one who drank it. But like, there's like a scene in that movie where um, the girls were tricking um, their dad's new fiance because they were trying to wreck the relationship for him to go back to their mother. And <laughs> they put sugar in her water and then she thought it was like bug repellent or, oh wait, no. No, she thought that she put salt in her water because she wanted to get rid of the um, the mosquitoes. And she was putting it all over her and the mosquitoes were just going after her. And I was just like, <laughs> what? And then she explained to the father that it wasn't working. And then he grabs the bottle, he sniffs it, and he's just like, there's sugar in this water. And she was like, what? Um, and then I was just like... <laughs> And then she actually drank the water and then she went back into the tent and I was just like, how does that make sense? I mean, that's probably not how the scene went through, but that's just what I remember and I just think it's so funny. And I don't even know why I'm bringing that up. But, um, it had nothing related to what I was talking about. Um, but yeah. So, I've been fo trying to focus on my photography recently. So, if you guys have noticed that most of the photos I've been posting aren't really new. They're just from the same shoots, but just different 
um, locations in the area and different poses technically. But it does help when I do that because it's technically like a life hack. So say if like um, we don't go exploring somewhere for a while and I still need to post content for you guys. And instead of resorting to posting memes or like anime content on my um, normal accounts, like my blog and my um, main account, I'll just, I just use older photos from the same shoot of like past um, videos. You can literally just tell that by um, the outfit I'm wearing probably, but sometimes I just wear the same outfits. So like, it's kind of weird, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's weird. But again, I think I'm still gonna um, put off the Grand Marquis video just because we just don't have enough time to um, record that video. And I've been craving to go out and to go back to North Adams. So I kind of want to do that first. But I mean, if we find like an empty parking lot or something, then maybe I can do something special and I will just record it there. And it would just be, it would just make my day because it's North Adams and I just really love that area in Massachusetts more than anywhere else. Um, I kind of think that's weird because I like that, I like North Adams more than where I actually live. I don't know, um, cause it just feels different when I'm there. Like it just has a whole different energy, but it's a nice energy. It's like all positive and everything. And um, also because there's just so much to do there versus here. Like there's so much to explore and everything and they just have so much there. And it's really good for photo shoots. So I recommend you guys go or Florida, Massachusetts or Williamstown, which I really want to do Williamstown so bad because there's like an area where we have been passing by every time we go to North Adams and there, like there's two big statues of lions at the gate. It's like a, it's like forced park, but different, just like bigger and nicer. And it's a bet it's a really good place for like photo shoots and everything. And I really want to go there, explore there for a video, and to do a shoot there. So I'm really excited. And Willow has been missing you guys, um, too. But again, I'll probably take a photo of her today just to be able to put that up on her account because it's been a while since I posted on there. I mean, I've like. There's times where I try to get active on her, like, really, like, a lot with my other accounts. But then, it's not that it's too much. It's just that, like, I just have to use so many hashtags versus my accounts. And it just, <laughs> it just sucks. Well, that and plus, like, Will used to get a lot of likes really fast on her account. So, it's been going, it's been going a lot slower lately so I, that's probably what's um decreasing my motivation to post on her account which kind of sucks um well that and plus i haven't really had the time to make her content either um i try but can't promise and again um we recently got the grass cut even though we technically didn't need to like the grass is being cut a lot more than it should be. And I don't approve of that because it's kind of unhealthy for the grass. Um, but I think, and it's not even, the grass is not even cut right because there's so many areas where the grass is still high and I'm just like, oh God. Either we need a new lawnmower or we just need someone better to mow our lawn. Cause I do not approve or like the person who comes to mow our lawn. And my dad mows the lawn sometimes and I don't like it when he does either cause he doesn't know what he's doing. Or at least he makes it look like he knows what he's doing but he's actually not cause um, again, for you guys who haven't seen my earlier videos, I have taken landscaping and I have learned how to mow a lawn correctly. <laughs> and how to use a lawnmower, but then again, I probably would have to learn again because our lawnmower is different. 
than the ones that we used at school, so. I mean, we do have the similar push mower, but it's probably different. <sighs> but I'm just saying it would just be um, better to have someone to know what they're doing when they're cutting the grass. And it's not even that hard to learn how to cut grass right. I don't know, I just don't like the people who cut our grass. And when I mean people, I mean my father and my half-brother. But I don't really consider him as my half-brother because of stuff that happened between everybody in the past. And I just don't like him being around at all. Um, because, again, a lot has happened and he's not the best person. In my opinion, I feel like my father is worse, but those two are so similar that I just don't want any of them near me or in the same place at the same time ever. And it's to the point where it's affecting my grades because we have online school right now and I, I just don't want to attend Zoom when he's home. And plus when I wake up, I'm just tired because I can't sleep because of how much stress I have. And I try to at least get to bed before he comes home because he got his hour switched, so it's three o'clock to 11. So I try to get to bed before 11 just because I do not want to know when he comes home. And I just want time to myself. And again, my mom is working today, so yeah. Even Willow doesn't want him home. Cause she gets stressed out whenever she he hears yelling or fighting or um, just tense up when her owner gets tensed up because that's actually a thing for people who have pets. Whenever they're in a bad mood, their pet um, also feels the same way. So they try to cheer you up and be all innocent in there, so cute. Aww. She's such a cute fluff ball. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Aww. But again, um, yeah. So I just hope that we just move soon. But again, I'm sorry for this being like a negative sort of video with negative vibes. Um, I didn't mean for it to be like that negative. <laughs> I mean, we had some nice positive vibes in here too, but it's not my fault. It's just, I need the vent in general. It's just, and so see you guys in the next video please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification button if you haven't already to get notified when i upload more videos and see you guys later